So in the last video, I mentioned that um, we are going to be using PHP to process these credit cards, and we're going to do that inside PHP's Laravel's framework, uh, specifically Laravel 4. So in this video, um, I just want to go over briefly how you can install um, Laravel 4 and get that up and running on your localhost. So the first thing you need to do is um, you need to install Composer on your computer. And Composer is a dependency management tool for PHP, and it's going to help you to download uh, Laravel and also get all the things, all the other things that Laravel needs, such as like some Symfony components and Swift Mailer and other stuff like that. So in order to install Composer, um, you need to have OpenSSL enabled in your PHP settings. So um, you can see I have WAMP going right here, and if I go under PHP to PHP extensions, you'll see that OpenSSL is enabled there. So um, get that enabled and then um, restart your uh, Apache and then you can go over to um, getcomposer.org slash download and then we're going to go down to Windows installer uh, if you're on Windows just come down here and then download and run composer setup.exe right so once composer is installed on your computer that's going to um, add composer to your path so then once we're inside our command line, we can just type composer and then put in um, the various composer commands. Um, the next thing we can do is um, actually I want to show you my um, I want to show you like my root folder. So um, inside my WW folder in WAMP, I have site one, site two, and site four. So what I want to do right now is I want to do a new installation of Laravel and I want that to be site three. Um, before I show you this, I just want to show you how um, I do this. Um, I use virtual hosts um, in order to have just unique URLs for all of my sites and also short URLs. So I'm just going to go into Notepad here. And this is my um, hdbd-vhost.com file. Um, that's, insti that's inside WAMP, bin, Apache, then the Apache version that's being used. There could be a couple in there conf extra and then hbdvhost.conf and I can set up all of my virtual hosts here um, this will work fine as long as your the hdbd.conf file that's in the conf folder is including uh, vhost.conf which it usually is by default but if it's not working you can check your hbd.conf file to make sure um, that it is including this vhost file the next thing we need to do is we need to go into our host file um, so that when we type in the, these things like site2, site3, that it's actually mapping um, to our local host. So I'm going to my host file here. That's in C, Windows, System32, Drivers, Etsy, Host. And um, you can see localhost is mapping to this 127 uh, local, which is our, our own computer. And then I have um, five other aliases set up. Uh, these are also pointing um, to our localhost. Now, if you want to add some to these in Windows, um, you may get a message that this file is in use by another program. And the only way you'll be able to edit this file is if you edit this, um, is if you open Notepad++ or another thing, another editor as administrator. So, um, for example, um, I'm in the Notepad++ folder right here. And here is notepad++.exe. So you're going to want to right click on this and run as administrator. And then after you run as administrator, you'll be able to go file and then open this file and you'll be able to edit it. If you're not running um, this program as administrator, um, you may get a message that you're not able to edit this file because it's in use by um, another, another process. So in this case for site three, um, let's just look at this virtual host. We have the document root pointing to WAMP WW site three slash public, and then the server name is site three. So you know, once I get into my browser, all I'm going to need to do is type um, site three here. So we can go ahead and download Laravel right now. Um, go to Laravel site inside their quick start, and then just copy this line of code right here, and then go back into Git Bash and get into your you know your ww folder or your htdocs whatever is your web root and um, press the insert key within um, 
within git bash and obviously that that didn't go very well i'm just going to go back to um Laravel's. i'm going to copy this again okay let's go back into git bash and press insert and once you got this line here um what i want to do is i want this laravel installation i want it to be in a folder called site 3 because that is going to um, match up with the virtual host that i have set up for it so after you have all this you can just hit enter and um this this installation could take between one and five minutes um, depending on your connection speed. So I'm just going to pause this video now and um, wait for this to finish. Okay, so this is all finished up now. So I can go into the browser and test it out. I'm going to type site 3 and you'll see that we have Laravel successfully installed here. So in the next video, I think what we'll do is we will um, we'll go over to Stripe's website and we'll go get the code for this um, in this embedded form right here, which is the most simple way of, in, in, uh, of installing Stripe into your website. And we'll see if we can get this working.